I love you. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's up, divas and divas? So, you guys, another lace front video. This one you could definitely wear in the summer heat, girl, and still look amazing. Like, you know what I'll say? Cute. Genesis wig. Never heard of them. You know what I'm saying? There's so many wig companies out right about now, girl. Like, listen. They send me their 14 inch. Oh God, I just forgot just that fast. So I got a 14 inch Kim K deep curly or deep wave bob, that best easy bob, okay? This is what it is, it's a deep wave. It did get wavy, really deep waves. Like it was a nice wave pattern, but I just felt like I wanted to curl it. I wanted to see if it was like versatile. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how you spend money on a really curly wig, probably have like just that one wig. You really don't want to spend more money buying a straighter wig. I felt like, let me try this hair out and see how it curls. That way, if you like it, you can wear it as is, like, you know, a deep curl, deep wave, or you can take your flat iron out, your curling barrel out, and you can put some style in. I like the wigs that you can do like different options. So this is the reason why I curled this, girl. I did use my barrel curler and it came out nice. It's it was easy, okay? I used a hot comb on the highest heat, which is my favorite hot comb from Walmart, but it's a 13 by six lace frontal. The only thing that I did was bleach and pre-pluck the knot. That's come with the combs right here as standard and also the one in the nape, and then there's adjustable strap in the nape and the comb and nape as well. So we're just gonna do the normal standard application we're gonna see how this roll out you guys yes you guys let's do this let's do this so as you guys know the first thing to doing a wig install is to put the wig on get you some really good clips so that way when you're cutting the lace off you don't accidentally cut the hair so i prefer small scissors but you know it's your preference girl you know but just make sure that you cut the lace off you don't want to go outside with it on um i have seen people do that but anyway cut it as close but not as close to the hairline, but just enough to where you have a little bit left. You don't want any of the hairs to fall out and you need to make sure that the wig fits properly. So as you guys see me doing right here, I'm looking to see where the wig falls and it does fall over my ear, which means that the wig will not lay flat. So I took my comb and I made a part in it and then I cut the excess lace. So that way it lays right above my ear, which gives a perfect seamless application and it also allows your wig to look more natural and lay a lot flatter and also fit really comfortable so this is an optional step but i suggest that you do it because it just looks really natural trust me so i do apologize for the blurry it will straighten out see so just take your rat tail comb and make you some sideburn hairs you don't have to make the wispy hairs or the baby hairs as you see me doing right here but some wigs do require a little bit extra help um, especially if the lace is not invisible to where you cannot see it at all so this is the reason why i'm just taking out a little bit of the wispy hairs they don't have to be glued down they don't have to be gelled down but you can also spray them down but I'm going to use this got to be volume maniac hairspray just to adhere my wig. Normally I use the glam force hole, which gives me at least like three, five day holds, sometimes more. But for today's video, I'm going to use the volume maniac one. This one does give a really good hold. This will hold your wig for like a day to a day and a half. So if you don't want it on for so long, you could definitely use this hairspray. I actually do really like this hairspray because it does give you volume. Plus it also adheres to your wig. So that is the reason why I like to use the got to be hairsprays except for the freeze blast. So what I do is I normally sing while I'm doing a video as I'm doing right here. You know, just a little bit entertainment from you guys. And then I went ahead and cut the extra long baby hairs and sideburns but when i was applying the actual hairspray to my lace i made sure that i sprayed the hairspray behind the baby hair so where you see that empty spot is basically where i parted it at and had enough room to actually go ahead and adhere the wig now i prefer to just spray hairspray on my toothbrush when styling any type of wispy hairs or baby hairs so that way they don't get all hard and crunchy but if you like your wigs or your baby hairs and wispy hairs hard and crunchy girl then go for it and repeat the steps on the next side 
So this is the style that it came out to. I should have used a looser barrel curl, but I just really wanted to see if the hair curled because I know a lot of times people don't want to go out and spend more money and more money on wigs. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love wigs, but I'd rather just have one that I can do more things with. Okay, guys, so this is how it looks from what I styled it. You know what I'm saying? I told you guys you can do a bunch of stuff with curly hair. I want to know. Like, I'm not really feeling the style that much. Like, listen, this is what I want to know. What it look like curly, curly. I'm going to go get me a towel, spray all of this conditioner. Well, not all of it. I'm about to trench myself. But we're going to spray enough of it on. So now I'm just going to take my conditioner water, which is basically just some water with some Carol's daughter's hair milk leave-in conditioner. I just put a couple of drops of that in it and then I'll spritz that into my hair. You don't want to just spray the hair with just plain water because it will dry your hair out. So I highly suggest using some type of conditioner. It doesn't have to be leave-in. It can be just your regular rinse out conditioner, but you just want to put a few drops of that into your water so that way when you're spraying it, your hair is getting moisture. So make sure to keep that in mind if you decide to just spritz your hair. But I think this is cool because you can curl it if you want, like style it, or you could just wave it back. So I'm just going to use the blow dryer because, you know, I was getting a little bit wet. Plus, I was trying to dry some of it for some volume. And just to add some extra plumping volume, I'm going to be using one of my new favorite hairstyling mousses, which is the Got To Be Fantastic Mousse. You can get all these products at Ulta.com. I did get them from the Dollar Tree, but unfortunately, you know, they don't have those available anymore. You know, that was just a one-time thing, girl. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the information down below for you guys. And yeah, enjoy. Oh, this was easy to make it wavy again when it dries it's gonna be a lot fuller i drenched myself for you guys listen girl you can curl it and you can wet it versatility in a wig let your money go a long way for first time first come first service basis you know okay two 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 thumbs up so you guys check out genesis wigs down below got a coupon code too you guys i gotta go i got another video to do you know what i'm saying but also make sure you check the description box out as well i gotta go gotta do another video i love you guys and so if you see me in the same shirt you just know all right bye